hi guys welcome to my video i kind of look like a grandma now because i have my scarf on i'm not in the mood to wear wig so i hope you guys don't mind though that i look like this but i still look fine at least i have lip gloss on my sunburn tattoo on my face so let's get into the video okay let's get into the video <laughs> Come on! Who this? Who this? Uh -uh. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Jasmine and you know the vibes. If you're new here and you just thank you for giving us a, a peep. I really appreciate Yay! Thank you. So uh, please you can help me subscribe. Yes, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also share and sh like and turn on your post notification on so you can get videos from me myself. I so I'll be painting, I will show you what I'm painting with. I have my canvas is not a huge frame it's this this size i hope you guys are size and also i have my acrylic paint for me here and the colors i'm making use of black um purple white and blue and blue this is blue so that's all painting so yeah so i already have them here so this is my own mini palette that I'm making use of. And so yes, I have also my brushes I'll be making use of. They're kind of wet because they've been in a pool of water. Different sizes. I have this two mini, yeah, tripping, two mini um, brush here. And yeah, if you're new here, please subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm sure you're going to enjoy the video. And also, don't forget to like, don't forget to share, comment, be very important. On this video, I am here for us. I'm so sorry, I don't have like um, a, a stand where I can put this and maybe I can be like this painting, but I don't have a stand yet, so it's gonna be on the table. I'll be coloring this and talking about my first experience in the university so yes i get admission i think i'm still saying i think because i don't know what happened in it. again the admission but the guy that checked my results told that i gained admission at rsu so i attended school i started going to school for like i think it was up to a month at first when i got to that school because the school is a little bit bigger than the school i am now when I got to home, I was lost because I was looking for my department. I don't even know anybody. I was looking for my department as a fresher. So you see some people calling, are you a fresher? Are you a fresher? That shit was quite annoying. But who you be? What do you want to say? I don't even know who those guys are. You want to come on? Um, I missed my class. I sat down in the canteen. God, praying to God. Ah, how am I going to go home? Any like this, and my papa was to talk that kind of thing. So that's why I was, I was scared of, of going home early. So I started on the ATO, class was over. And when I I met some girls, I was like, please, what department are you in? And they're like, a hey, mask on. I like, just had a class in this place. And was, the canteen was so close to the lecture hall, and that was it. So, Lisa, let me fast forward to when I was told during matric and they printed out, I think they, they usually print out the list of people that came on admission. So, they printed out the names and that was like, my name is no more that they were like. What? I already gave testimony in church that I gave, that I gained admission. Do you know what it means? Like, it was so painful. I said it was really painful. It hurts me. That you get to hear that. Oh, you don't. I mean, you're not seeing your name again. What does that mean? What does that even mean? Are you even serious? Why? Why are you not getting my name for the So yes. So 
let's fast forward to when you guys say he didn't seem any on the list any longer and how this that that that, that. so that was how i left rsu and i had to stay in the house for one year again god so it was frustrating i had friends that were doing matric same school i didn't even know they were planning on going to that school but in admission i even went to their house for to, jo to join them to celebrate the admission thingy so so i thought one day he was like sorry yeah, next year you go you go go school why are you fucking telling me that when you know that i'm already hurt already so well anyways i didn't take that to heart because i knew that by god's grace i'll leave i'll surely leave the house because it's frustrating you know as a teenager how you want to leave your parents house now because of your parents then african parents are drama five and six african parents can disturb you know, especially nigerian parents i don't know about other countries but african parents i'm speaking from experience can disturb your life like they will just give you they will tell you i knew how to do wigs i knew how to do braided wig and that was when this braided wig thing it was ringing so i knew how to do braided wig and my dad saw that okay this is what this girl is good at and she's fetching money from it so why not just so i gave admission in 2017 16 17 yes because 15 I, 16 i had to stay at home because i guess okay so I get an addition at 2017. I was super excited to leave the, I was super excited to leave the house. Do you know the joy you have? And imagine that you're not staying with your parents. You're going to fly away to another. They won't restrict you from doing some certain things that you wanted to do. If you want to go out at night, you can go out. Nobody restrict you. But I was thinking that was how I was, I was going to restrict him and asking me, Oh, you, are you checking your time? Are you checking your time? Do you know what the time is? Are you not supposed to be back home? The mother, then when you come back, so. My cousin was already in Calabar, so uh, I stayed with her until we got to our own place because they were like, you guys need to stay together. So in Calabar, I stayed. And yes, a lot of things happened. I met a guy that broke my heart. All of them. You know, in your first year, you that's when you first year that's when you meet guys that will break your heart very very well especially those ones that are in the higher class and the freshman like just the first, first year student so that was what happened and when i got to school i was i was i didn't know my department too my mom followed me to school so i met one girl my cousin was the one that would help me to talk to her and she was like what department are you in and the girl was like, mask ma on there. Okay, I lost my cosmetics. You won. Okay, fresher. Her name is Precious Coffee. Um, so, that was the girl I met. And I didn't know we even stayed close. Like, her house was like a stone true to mine. I didn't know that until we got talking and we became friends. Yeah. And I was going to her house, her mom helped me, broke me, one. Ah, God. I was freaking broke it anyways. God did it. So, yeah, that was what happened. I was a broke, a one fresher. The only, and, and the only time I can be with my dad was to get money for book. And maybe just like that, something happened in school. That's when, that's if you lie. And African parents believe you when you believe you when you lie about school, and they give you plenty of extra money. So I'm mixing purple and can you see? Sorry, I mean, can you see this purple and white? I'm mixing purple and white together, so you can give me a lighter shade of purple. No why I did it. I don't know why I did I got to my lecture hall, went to school together, went to my lecture hall, then I made new friends in year one. My fan bam, like I call them, they are my fan bam. I made new friends. They are family now. Mark and Josh. I didn't I never went club in year one because I didn't like the idea. So that was 
it i never went clothing in the one if you're wondering in my lecture hall i saw new people in, in universities you're going to see different characters in your department so there are different characters i made friends with uh, all the girls in school not like friends like not talk to everybody now so that was it i enjoyed my every experience i had in year one and how and attend classes and meet friends and go for a friend's birthday cousin's birthday i went for a friend's birthday in my year one god and they shot in the party hey god i was freaking scared from that day i vowed from that day i told myself you're never going to attend any school party because you don't know who these guys are so i'm like okay i never attended any party anybody's party i didn't attend from that day that was the last day i did attend the party so in year one i was very very naive girl i was very very naive i don't know about life because i was locked in a cage so i should advise nigerian parents please do not put your children in that kind of situation allow them to explore they know you gave them home training so definitely they are go not going to put you to shame because i know that i just i experienced some certain things that i'll tell myself that, okay this is not necessary i'm not, never going to do this again so please allow us out if i had known that okay this is i'm not saying parties are bad but if I had known that, okay, you need to be careful, you don't need to, not everywhere you, they invite you to, you go. All of those things. I didn't know. But I'm glad I had that experience. I did. So this is how it looks like. I don't know how, well, I know you'll be wondering what she going to draw. So let's see. This is how far we've gone now. Yes, so I made friends in the parties. And I met this guy in my year one where I went to fetch water. And that was my first boyfriend in school. And he was like so nice at first when you meet somebody. You know how guys act. It'd be so freaking nice i'd be like they cannot hurt you so he said he was a final year student in unical university of calabar and i wasn't in unical i attended state university not the federal university so he was a final year student in unical and i was like okay i have a boyfriend who's in final year in unical i was so freaking dumb i was so dumb and got to know him. Let's pass that one. Turned out to be douchebag. Yep. Sorry if you come across this video. I'm sorry about that. So the one was fun for me. It wasn't as rosy as I don't know. Most of you might have like a very very rosy experience in you. I'm still without food and all of that so it's just part of the whole experience thinking that i'm talking about so so far this is what i've done so let's see how it's gonna be like let's see how it's gonna be like I'm here to reveal what I've done so far. I didn't record because I was hungry and I had to go eat. So, are you ready? I'm not a presenting professional. I just do this for fun, so don't judge me. If you think it's pretty, comment under the comment section. You know, you know, just comment under the get the trombone. Do, 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 do. What do you think about this? Mm, vibe. Giving me the trees around the water vibe. It's giving me purple. So yeah, 
so i did this video thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you get notified you get notified when i post new videos all right all right